when it comes to one of the biggest questions in the country right now, it's who will be Alabama's starting quarterback in a few weeks. New offensive coordinator Tommy Reese and head coach Nick Saban will decide between Jalen Milrow, Tyler Buckner, or Ty Simpson. And coach is already getting just a little bit tired of answering questions about his quarterbacks. You're going to ask me about the quarterbacks every day. Every day I'm going to tell you the same thing. You know, everybody's getting reps at the position. Somebody's got to take the bull by the horn. Somebody's got to separate themselves. When that happens, we'll tell you. Be glad to tell you. When we're going to take the cake out of the oven, we will tell you when it's the time. All right. But until then, there's really nothing to talk about. There's nothing to say. Um, so there's not a whole lot of sense in asking about it because I, we want all the guys, when they're in there, you play the position like it's yours like it belongs to you. You're out there competing. You're not looking over your shoulder. You're not worrying about what somebody else does. You're, you're playing like you're the man. And that's what we want each guy to do and see who can do that with the most consistency. Time is not exactly on Alabama's side when it comes to their schedule. Middle Tennessee week one and then Texas week two, Roman. If you're Coach Saban, if you're in Tuscaloosa, what are some of the things you have to see in camp to be able to name a starter week one? Well, uh I think they're going to roll out with two quarterbacks for week one. I think everybody's going to try and get some reps. But for me, the biggest question I have is every highlight I see or whatever they're doing in practice, no, there's no defenders out there. So I would love to see somebody throwing against a real defense for at least once so I can at least have some kind of judgment on what these quarterbacks are doing. Let's get some cameras in there. Can we get some cameras on the please, practices down there? Please, please. Sure Cut down the that. suspense for me, yeah. please. But you're right. I think you're right. Get reps for both of them, maybe, especially if there's not a clear cut coming out of camp. But then the other piece of it, too, is – the mobility piece of it, new offense, right? We're talking about a new identity, but a quarterback that can fix things for you, that can make it right, all things go wrong. Obviously, you want a quarterback that can operate the procedural parts of your offense, but in game, when the bullets start flying, and in week two it gets yes. real very fast when Texas comes calling, you got to have a guy that can fix it for you, and mm -hmm. I think that Milrow is probably the guy that's most likely to do that. Based on this photo from Nick Saban leaving a press conference last week, one would think he feels pretty, pretty good about his team here in 2023. <laughs> I myself put a caption up and said, this should be terrifying for the rest of the SEC West. Have you ever seen a smile that big during Never. fall camp? Never. Yeah. Never. You want to, it's got to be an okie doke, right? It's, <laughs> Never. it's a pump fake of some type. Never. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.